Hi Kangas and Roos, hope you're all really well, hope you had a good weekend and you're ready for another Tuesday. And our story today is from the Bible and it's a story that Jesus told and it's all about building. So I wonder today whether you might want to get your building blocks ready. Uh, many, many weeks ago now at the start of um, our lockdown time, we did a Kangas and Roos video all about building and we had a competition to see who could build really big towers and things like that. So again, if you want to build some really tall towers or some really strong towers, then you could take a picture and put it underneath the video here on, on Facebook. But I built a little, um, a very little building here. I'm gonna add to it a bit. And of course, you can have some fun with your building and see how many uh, bricks you can get up high before it falls over. Let's hope that stays while I tell the story. Watch out for that building. Now this story, as I said, is a story that Jesus told. It's from the Bible and I've got a Bible story book here. I've got the Osborne um, Children's Bible there and I'm going to tell it from here. And it's a story that Jesus told about two men. One was very foolish and he went and built a house on sand. So if you've got some sand and you want to do some building on sand, you could experiment with that. Well, he built his house on sand. But there was another man and he was very wise and he thought about his building and he thought, I'll go and find a really firm foundation. I'll go and find a solid rock to build my house on. And so he did. So they both built their houses and all was well for a while. But then a storm came. Now it's a bit of a rainy day today, isn't it? Got a little bit of rain. Maybe you could make some rain sounds. So if you do some pitter patters by on your on your legs, or you can make some storm sounds as well, some thunder and some crashes and things like that, and make a storm. And then when this storm came, what happened to the people's houses? Well, the foolish man's house fell flat. To the ground but the wise man's house stood firm because it had been built on a solid rock and that's a great story isn't it and Jesus explained it later and he said what he meant by that story was if we listen to Jesus and if we follow his teachings in our lives and if we have a relationship with him then we're like that wise man who built his house on the rock on something solid and true that's a great story and there's a really good song about that story as well and you might know it already but if you don't I'm going to teach it to you and it's really simple and it goes like this the wise man built his house upon the rock the wise man built his house upon the rock the wise man built his house upon the rock and the rain came tumbling down the rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sun and the rain came tumbling down. You ready? The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up and the house on the sand went flat. Or fell flat. I'm not sure I said that right. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that song and hope you want to sing it maybe you'll be singing it all day now i don't know so we're going to say our prayers now and we're going to start with one two three four five so you've got your fingers ready one two three four five thank you god that i'm alive six seven eight nine ten thank you for our friends amen and when i'm driving in my car or walking down the street Thank you, God, for being with me and bless the ones I meet. Our hands together we must do, and as we bow our heads to you, we close our eyes and softly say, thank you, God, for a lovely day. Amen. I hope you have a really good week, everybody. Hope you can have some fun building up some towers. Why don't you see 
how tall you can make them, but also if you make those foundations better and bigger and stronger, does that help you to build up your tower stronger as well? So there's some little uh, science lessons for you today as well. There you go. You never know what you're going to get from Kangas and Roos, do you? Well, I hope you have a really good day, a really good week. Enjoy a bit more freedom. And let's hope the weather cheers up a little bit as well. And we'll see you again next Tuesday. That'll be our last one next Tuesday, so before the summer holidays. So I hope you can join us for that one. See you soon, everybody. Bye.